And then, my dear hockey boy, once I'm done juggling their severed heads along with the mayors on national TV, I'm coming for you. Oh. Because this city sorely needs a better class of criminal. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, I'm not going to give you any magical powers. I... <laughs> Magic? Oh, I've been doing this a long time without magic. <laughs> Dear God, what was that thing? Sir? <clears throat> oh, it's just you, Natalie. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to startle you. Is everything all right? No. I'm afraid it's not. In an attempt to akumatize another foe for Chat Noir and Ladybug to contend with, I may have inadvertently put us in danger. What? How? I... I was probing Paris for negative energy. Like I usually do when I'm looking for someone to akumatize. Nuru feeds on raw emotion. That's why it's the easiest to harness and control. The stronger the emotion, the stronger the Akuma becomes. On a normal day in Paris, I'm forced to weaponize the negative emotions of simple unpleasantries. Something as simple as an insult hurting someone's feelings, or a baby throwing a tantrum. But today, today I was suddenly overwhelmed with raw, negative energy like I've never felt before. More pain and suffering and malevolence than I've ever felt in this city. It scared me, Natalie. To be honest, I almost didn't want to talk to its source, but I was too curious not to. I was expecting to talk to someone in tears, someone in an incontrollable rage, but instead, what I wound up talking to was a clown. And? What happened? Did the akumatization not work? There was no akumatization. He rejected it. And then he... He promised he would do some very disturbing, violent things just before threatening to come after me. And I sensed he wasn't lying. Wait, he rejected the akuma? How can he do that? Is that even possible? We have to be careful, Natalie. He may not have a miraculous, Whoever this clown is, they could be a significant threat. He doesn't know who or where we are, but we can't afford to let him find out. Emily is defenseless without me, and so is my son. Should we take Adrian out of school and reassign his private tutors until the clown is dealt with? Not for the time being. I have no intention of letting that clown discover who my family is, or who I am for that matter. Besides, if I take Adrian out of school now, I'll never hear the end of it. That boy complains too much for someone born with a silver spoon in his mouth. I worry this lifestyle we live has made him too soft. Sir? Are you alright? I... I just felt another surge of negative energy. But it's different this time. Different from the clown. Can you find the source? Yes. Let's find out who it is. Hello? Oh, oh, oh my god. Who are you? I'm, I'm Hawkmoth. Get out of our head, whoever you are. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I may have a proposition for you, twin type. Call us by your real name. Uh, okay. M my apologies. How would you prefer to be addressed? Harvey. Harvey. Two-Face. Very well. Two-Face, if you work with me, I can imbue you with the power to defeat- Give us power? Tell me, what power can you give us that we can't get ourselves? The powers I can provide to those that need it are as unique as a snowflake in a tundra. But rest assured, whatever power I can grant you will be more than enough to- Not interested. Not interested? I can give you the power to attain anything you desire! You dare reject- And how do you know what we desire? I don't, but I don't have to. I can just provide you with the power needed to achieve it. As long as you help me obtain Chat Noir and Ladybug's Miraculous. A Miraculous? What the hell is a Miraculous? You're not from around here, are you? 
Well, a miraculous is a magical jewel of sorts that's bound to a quad- Never mind! We decided we don't care. Fine. You don't need to understand them. All you need to know is that I need them. And what do you want with them? What I do with the source of Chat Noir and Ladybug's power is none of your concern. Ah, power. And then I suppose you want me to give that to you. They're all the same, no matter where I go. Money, power, look at you. I can smell the desperation coming off of you. Whatever it is you want, you want it so bad. You can no longer tell what's right from wrong. Which is fine, because neither can we. That's why we carry this. A coin? This is judge, jury, and executioner. Or in other words, fair. Because that's what we want. That's what we really desire. What's fair? I tell you what, we already tossed on the superpowers. We don't want them. But if you call heads or tails, I might still help you with your chat noir and ladybug problem. This is a bit unorthodox, but very well. I call heads. Looks like the odds say that chat noir and ladybug need a coin flip of their own. A coin flip of their own? What does that mean? It means fate decides. Listen, I'm not exactly sure what that implies, but I think it's important that I clarify I'm only after Ladybug and Chat Noir's miraculouses. They're just foolish children playing with powerful tools they don't understand. I don't necessarily want any serious harm to come to them if it can be avoided. Too late! We already tossed! If fate says to harm them, then I harm them. If fate says to let them go, then I let them go. You can't be serious! What are you planning to do? Shoot them? Neither shooting them or letting them go is what I want! I just need the power to- Call it again! Heads or tails? Uh, tails. This time, I pick tails. <sighs> Lucky man. What was that for? That one was for your life. Oh my god. What have I done? Gabriel, are you alright? What happened? Natalie! I just partnered with a madman and I can't stop him! What would Emily think of me if he murders those children? On my behalf, no less! In her name! She... She can never know. If he succeeds, Emily can never know! Gabriel... We're doing more than pulling Adrian out of school. I want him out of the country. Something's changed, Natalie. I can feel it in the air. I don't want Adrian anywhere near here as long as creatures like Two-Face or Clown Prince roam the streets. Paris is no longer safe. Call Tomoe Sarugi. Adrian can stay with the Sarugis in Japan while he does some photo shoots there. Make the arrangements. It's about time he starts seeing more of the world anyway. Yes, sir. I... I think I need to see Emily. I'll be by her resting place if you need me. <laughs>